Hi, I'm Annapolis Mayor Josh Cohen with your weekly video update for May 11, 2010. In this video, I want to share with you three updates, one on the budget, second on Empower Annapolis, which is a new program, and the third on the Market House. With the budget, uh, the City Council is in the middle of some serious budget deliberations over the next few weeks. Uh, our end date is June 7th when the Council is scheduled to vote on the budget. Uh, it's no secret Annapolis is facing an extraordinarily difficult budget challenge, just like many go governments, um, large and small. My goal with the city budget uh, from day one has been to balance the budget without raising the tax rate, uh, preserving essential services, and, make, and looking for ways to make government more efficient and effective at the same time. But the main thing is, how do we uh, provide a balanced budget without raising the tax rate? It's a difficult challenge. Uh, for two reasons. One is that the recession is not helping us at all. Uh, our revenues are coming in below what we had forecast, or what the city had forecast, by more than $4 million. Some of it is due to a loss in state aid of about $1.5 million. But most of it is just that the economy is affecting all sorts of revenues, from income tax revenues to building permits to parking rates. Uh, to hotel tax revenues, all of these different revenue sources that the city relies on um, are, are pretty soft right now. So that's one reason why uh, our revenues are going down. Another reason why it's a challenge to balance the budget is because last year when the city council adopted the budget, it was structurally not balanced, even though it was balanced on paper. And by that I mean uh, the city council had balanced the budget by relying on four and a half million dollars of one-time surplus money to fund ongoing expenses that that are recurring every year, which would be like uh, saying, uh, I found some money in a shoebox, I'm going to use that um, to cover my expenses that are going to come back again next year, even though I won't, I won't have that same money to rely on next year. So uh, those two reasons are contributing to a huge deficit. Um, we start off four and a half million dollars shy uh, because uh, we don't have that surplus money to carry over this time, as well as the fact that the uh, economic recession is reducing revenues by an additional four plus million dollars. So uh, on March 8th, the budget I submitted to the City Council uh, made an initial step to address the budget deficit. It reduced spending six and a half million dollars. Uh, below the current year's amounts. In addition, we need to close an additional deficit. Uh, the figure ranges from about two and a half million to eight, depending on uh, different assumptions, as well as depending on what the ultimate objective is. One of the challenges that the city faces long term, even after we balance the operating budget for next year, is the fact that our reserve funds are depleted our cash reserve funds have no cash in them. That's why we had to take out a temporary line of credit bridge loan to uh, make payroll uh, until we get the bulk of our revenues coming in in October. Uh, so one of the questions that the council is going to face is, is it enough to balance our operating budget for fiscal 11, even if we don't shore up our cash reserve funds to the amount we'd like? Or do we need to not only balance our operating budget but also shore up the cash reserve funds for fiscal 11 and just solve it all in one year, uh, even without raising the tax rate. And to do that would require a total of a 16.5% budget cut, uh, which um, is a huge cut. The, the city council hired an auditor uh, to review the numbers, and the auditor pointed out that in his 30 years of uh, working with local governments, even in down times, no government has ever been able to cut 16 percent in a single year. So uh, it's, a, it's a difficult challenge that the City Council is wrestling with. Um, some people, uh, some members of the Council feel that we need to cut a whole lot more. Others feel that it's time to stop cutting and we need to consider raising the tax rate in, in the eyes of some older persons. But again, I'm still committed to balancing this year's budget without raising the tax rate. Um, and I'm pretty confident we can get there by June 7th. Uh, the second update is on a new loan program called Empower Maryland. The Maryland Clean Energy Center is using Annapolis as its pilot site um, to kick off a program in which 
the Maryland Clean Energy Center, MCEC, will provide over $300,000 of low interest loans to local homeowners to improve energy efficiency. And the idea is very simple. Um, the idea is that by using some money to create, uh, to improve someone's house or um, and, and create energy efficiencies, the amount of money saved will offset the amount of the loan, particularly since the loan is at a very low 3% 3, 3 interest. And once the loan is paid off, then those improvements that were made will continue to provide savings to the homeowner um, and every year after that, as well as reducing energy consumption. So um, the City Council held a public hearing on that bill last night. Um, there's still some details to work out in terms of the implementation, but I'm hopeful that we can roll out this program within a month. And the third update is on the market house. In last week's update, I mentioned that we had hoped to post the proposals on, online on the city website. We're still working out some legal issues as far as what information we can post, uh, but we hope to get those uh, proposals up very shortly. Once they're up, this, um, I'll be encouraging and inviting public feedback. People can submit comments on the city website. And from that point forward, it's going to be a collaborative discussion uh, with the members of the City Council as far as which direction the City wants to go in long term and which of the proposals, whether there's one proposal or whether there are a few, uh, really hold the City Council's interest and we can narrow down the field of applicants and uh, proceed from there. So those are the updates. The budget continues to be the, the top issue we're wrestling with. Uh, the Empower Maryland, um, Empower Annapolis Low Interest Loan Program we hope to kick off in a month as well as the latest on the Market House. As always, you can contact me in the Mayor's Office by sending an email to mayor at annapolis.gov. You can call me at 410-263-7997, and you can visit my blog, mayorcohen.com, and leave a comment. Thank you for watching.